What is up party people? My name is Daryl and today I'm going to introduce you to one of the coolest plugins that will make your life with CSS a lot easier. Now the great part about this plugin is that you don't need to know any CSS whatsoever but it will actually give you all the CSS commands that you can apply visually on your website. So for example right here I added a CSS command where I just wanted certain colors to be in certain areas. Uh, right here as well I added a border radius. In fact let me just go ahead and refresh this page to kind of show you uh, what I've added with this um, CSS effect. So you can see there the image is kind of, you know, they kind of uh, come at you right there. I also added a border radius to it right there. Uh, scrolling down right here, I have that little animation right there that I added with this plugin as well. And again, right here, scrolling down, we have these three objects. Now, when I hover over these, the plugin will actually add the CSS to have it kind of pump, like pump out at you when you hover over it. So depending on what you're looking for, you can actually have it apply on certain commands. And right there, you can kind of see that we have that small effect. Now, let me just give you an example of what this plugin is and what you can do with it on your current website. And again, this is compatible with most uh, themes and page builders like Divi and Elementor. So right here is my current background. Now, what I did with, with the CSS right here is I went over here to background and I just wanted it to cover the content box. But maybe I want to go ahead and change this to something where I have it over the entire screen. Now this is all done with custom CSS. So over here, uh, I can even change the background color to like gradients and um, windy and copper, etc. Also, we can apply certain patterns. So this not only is CSS, it is other functions like adding in custom backgrounds, and then you can basically add an overlay to it as well. Now a lot of these features uh, Divi does have. However, most other page builders and themes don't have these. So depending on what you're using, you can apply this to your current theme. So right here, we can kind of see that we can add all of these right here to our current uh, website. Now, this is just the background. So that, that, that was just a small taste of it. Uh, let's go back over here to our content box. Here, I'll go ahead and scroll down and kind of click around here. So right here, I have this text right here. Now, with this text right here, you can change this to virtually any font you want. So the great part is that you don't need to have Google Fonts. You don't have to go ahead and start uploading any of these fonts from any of the various websites. It is all included here in this uh, yellow pencil plugin. So maybe you want railway right here. So that's pretty clean, railway. And scrolling down here, we can add a text shadow. Again, Divi does have this function uh, by default, but uh, for those of you not using Divi, you can always you know, get this plugin and just apply it to any website. So over here, we have different, you know, uh, you can have a line over it, you can have the line through it. Now I had it underlined, but you know, maybe I just, you know, I, I don't wanna get rid of it, so I'll just click on none. And then there you go, it's all done. Now also, there's just, there's so many different commands here. You know, you can align it to the left, to the center, to the right. So depending on what your, your theme is using, even Divi doesn't have all these features. So even if you're using Divi, this is a great way to kind of add more design and decor for your current websites. So let's go ahead and take a look at these images right here. So let's see what we can do with these images. You know, let's go ahead and take, uh, take a look at this. So right here under border radius, right off the back, you can kind of see how I made the border radius change on all sides right there. So right here, I can kind of make it more square. Or if you want to apply this uh, to like, you know, you know how the people have those designs where like two, like the image is kind of like slanted or something. So maybe on the top right right here, we can have the border radius. So right here now we have the border radius applying right there and right there as well. And going back over here, you know, maybe I don't want a border. You know, the border is kind of ugly. I'm going to go ahead and take out the border. But you can always apply the border if you want. So right here, we can see we can add as much border as we want. You can even change it to dotted, to dash, to hidden. Now, I know this looks tacky, but there are a lot of good reasons why you want to add dotted and dashed and hidden because depending on what your goal is, you can kind of apply that to your website. I know a lot of landing pages, they use the dotted or the dash. I know the dash is big for like click here. You can add like a button and then add like the, the dash around it. Some, a lot of websites use it, you know, so it, it is a very helpful feature. Also right here for animation. So right here we have the animation. Now I might want to do like zoom into the right and then maybe, you know, slide in down. So depending on what kind of animation you want, you can apply this also to your current website. And it, it it's amazing. Like I, I have to admit, like I, when I saw this, I'm just kind of like, oh, cool. Now also hover. So if someone hovers over that image right there, then the effect will apply. So depending on your goal right there, you can kind of just see how you can kind of start manipulating it and start to kind of add design and decor to your current website. And flipping, eh, I don't like flipping. Let's see what we got right here. Now nah, that's too much, that's too much. Nee, spacing down, I, I think, uh, what about shake? Or ta-da? I've seen ta-da quite a bit. Shake, 
We got bouncing. We got a few right here. We got we got a few. So I'm just letting you know that you can add certain animations. Um, let's go ahead and just uh, go back over here now. There's a lot of these I haven't even messed around with, you know, like text right here. You know, I haven't really even messed around with a lot of these right here. So uh, here you can kind of see I'm applying a text shadow right here. Now, there are some things. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool, actually. Maybe you can apply that to something like, yeah, here, here we go. We'll, we'll do it like that. Now, let's just say we save this. So, and we made all these changes to all these all these things and all these uh, modules right here. Now, let's go ahead and close this to see if this is actually working with our current theme. So there you go. All the changes that we made are live right there. Scrolling down here, we have all that dotted features as well. And that was virtually all we changed. Now, I bet you're thinking, what happens if I deactivate this plugin? What's going to happen to my current website? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and test it out right now. I'm going to go ahead and go to my plugins right here. And now, before I talk about that, the plugin, I, I, I whole skipped the whole reason of it. The whole plugin is called Yellow Pencil. And Yellow Pencil right here is one of the top rated plugins out there. In fact, if you go over here to Code Cannon and go to WordPress Popular Items, you're going to see that yellow pencil right here is the style editor and um, it has great reviews. You know, every week it gets maybe around 70 to 100 sales, uh, nothing but positive reviews because it's virtually compatible with most themes out there. So going back over here, let's go ahead and go ahead and go down and let's go ahead and deactivate. Let's see what happens here. Yellow pencil. Going to deactivate it. Now let's go ahead and click on and visit site. Is my site broken? No, it's not. It is just basically the default of whatever I left before. So if you do are if you are interested in this plugin, the link is in the description below. I think it is a great plugin. Now let's just say you want to go ahead and re-add that plugin to say, well, uh, I want to add it back now. You know, are my say are my changes still going to be there? Let's go ahead and check it out to see if our changes that we made before are stored. So here, let's go ahead and activate Yellow Pencil, and I'm going to go ahead and click on Visit Sites, and voila, everything is saved again. Wow. And also, you can check out other stuff. You know, there's a lot of other features about Yellow Pencil. I mean, you can just go ahead and check it out on their on their website right here. I mean, they have over like they they list everything. For me to basically tell you everything that's inside of this plugin in this video is pretty hard. I mean, 300 backgrounds, customize all the pages. You've seen it right there. I mean, you can probably even design your own pages from scratch with this plugin. I mean, it's virtually almost the same as a page builder in, in many regards. And here's the CSS style editor. So. Um, I'm sure most of you don't know how to add this. I myself, that's way too much work. I, I, I'm just gonna just get this plugin instead and then just apply it to my website. So let me know what you think about this plugin. I think that it is a great plugin. You know, it, it has been on my things of uh, list to do to review this plugin. And there's just so much that you get with this plugin. I mean, it is it is number one for a reason. So be sure to check out Yellow Pencil. Let me know in the comments what you think about this plugin if you want to apply it to your current website because I know CSS at times can be very discouraging and can also be very complicated in fact when you when you add the css code and sometimes it's not working you're kind of like why isn't this working trust me i have been there it is really annoying so uh, check out yellow pencil it's only like 20 25 or 26 dollars so to make these changes on your website on a front end basis is really impressive so be sure to check out yellow pencil and i will see you all in the next video